you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. I'm with my girl, Chris Starr, and we are at the Cecil Hotel. This is gonna be unbelievable, but- I did that, but I'm just so excited. We're gonna correct everything that we made mistakes on, including the room, the elevator. We're gonna give you a full-on video. So smash the like button, let's go. Guys, hit that like button. We are back at the fucking Cecil, let's go. Let's go. So last time we were here, apparently 506 was not the correct room. 412 was, so we are gonna be back. And we're gonna go inside 412 for you guys. Well, so just... Why is that light on? Uh, I don't know. That's very weird. So yeah, this is 412, guys. We are at the original room. So guys, we are at the original room. Room 412. Apparently, the first time we made a mistake, we went to 506, which is our second room. And we're about to go inside. Are you guys ready for this? So this is our original room, room 412. This is it. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It's currently. It's currently. I thought that door just locked. <laughs> that slammed. It is currently getting renovated. You know, this place is tiny. And take this into perspective, like one of the sides were bunk beds. And she used to share this room with two people. So a total of three people were sleeping in here. I thought 506 was the shared room. Was it? That's what everyone said. 506 okay, was the shared room. in the comments below if this is not the shared room or that's the shared room. 506, this was the last room she was seen in, apparently. It said online right now 506 was um, the sure. shared room. Okay, yeah, 506 yeah. is a bit bigger room, which that would make sense. Uh, right after this room, we're going to go check out the elevator, and we're going to check out the correct side, because last time we checked out the wrong side. So yeah, but her room is super tiny. Take this out, like my arms could almost touch the walls. Very tiny. But bad energy in here as well. Guys, what room number is this? 412. This is 412. And I want you guys to see like how small this room is. Like literally, it's like it's like a little bit bigger than a prison cell. Not that I've ever been in prison, but this is tiny. But we are on the fourth floor. Me and Chris Starr are the only people inside the building. Take that, that into so perspective. Creepy. It's, it, it's freaky. It's freaky. Oh my goodness. But we're gonna go to the elevators right now. Just, just watch the video, watch the video all the way. All right guys, last time we were here, we used that elevator. Apparently we were wrong and this is the elevator. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the elevator button and hopefully the one on the left comes and uh, we can explore inside. Oh, the one on the right came. Why, why does the one on the right come and not on the... Okay, so this is not the correct elevator. We're still on the fourth floor. We are near the elevators. Okay, now this one's coming. The left one is where This is the left was. wing. Yeah. This is where the surveillance footage came from. Okay. Oh my gosh. It, this one's a lot freakier for some reason. Where is the chair though? Yeah, there was a chair here. Can you put your hand here just in case it doesn't close? So you're getting the actual POV of what buttons she actually pressed. She went down the middle row. But as soon as you hit any of these, the doors should close. It doesn't matter if you hit hold or not. And exactly. I will, yeah, we, we will recreate that for you guys. I was thinking of maybe like leaving my phone in here or something. Yeah. I'm getting like a POV yeah, yeah, of this place. Yeah, we can it up there, but wait, the elevator keeps going off and... The, the problem is, guys, the elevator keeps going off by itself, so if it's moving up and down, your phone might fall. Yeah. If we put it up there, you know. Or maybe leave my camera here or something, have it running. Do you want to? I'm down. So this, this would be the exact angle of the video. You guys, that's viral on. That would be the exact angle. Wow. As soon as we hit one of these numbers, the door should automatically close. You so, want to stay in here? No. I'm going to go. I'm going to stay right here. Okay. And as so soon as I hit... We're going to test this theory of the elevator. Because so. she hit the first... Second, she hit the second row, all the buttons, and then she hit the 
the door hold last. Remember, she hit that last. She did not hit that first. So if I hit any of these buttons, the door should close, and which it does instantly, instantly, yeah. instantly, Probably. instantly. Okay, so watch that video over again. Bump. So if you guys watch her video, she hits 14, 10, 7, 8, and then hits the door hold button. But meanwhile, when she does hit 14, 10, 7, 4, the door doesn't shut at all. But check this out. As soon as I hit 14, instant closure. Yes. Instant. What did she see when she came outside? Look to the left and look to the right. Well, let me show you what she saw. She saw, hold the door. I don't want you to go inside. These are the showers. These are public showers and restrooms that are shared with everybody in here. And then on the left side is another hallway with a mirror, creepy mirror. We are about to go to the 14th floor. We are leaving the elevators. 14th floor, if you don't know by now, it is the, uh, the Night Stalker, AKA Richard Ramirez. I said that backwards. It's actually Richard Ramirez, AKA the Night Stalker. We're about to go to his floor and actual, we're actually gonna go inside his room. 14, 19, uh, that is his correct room. We've done our research. Check that, check that out. Look at how, look how creepy that hallway is. We are at the Cecil Hotel. Never been filmed before. You'll see it here first. Joey Official, Chris Starr. You might see some upcoming videos, but know this. We are the first people to film inside the Cecil Hotel with permission. We're about to, oh, this is, yo, this is such a creepy angle. Can you imagine like somebody just shot by, oh man. And by the way, guys, if you guys are wondering what time it is, it is currently 1.15 a.m. in the morning. Me and Chris all alone inside the Cecil Hotel. Guys, we currently made it to the 14th floor. Night Stalker. Richard Ramirez's floor. These are the actual stairs he came up by, or the elevator shaft, the doorway. Yo, there's Bibles here. It scared me. We're about to go to 1419. I'm here. Guys, 1419 is all the way down. We're about to take the 14, same hallway. 19. Yo. All right, let's get it. Richard Ramirez walked down this hot oh aisle, aisle hallway. He was finally caught in 1989. Oh my goodness, I can I think we gotta go around. Okay, it just smells. It's like someone's walking behind us. Yeah, I'm in the back as always. Yeah, what else? Oh, the fire escape. What? That arrow lied to us. Oh, okay. Unless the first door was 1419 and I completely skipped it. You guys are trying to find the room and we cannot. So, here oh, it should be here the us. one up on the left. Oh, shit. Is this it? Oh. Yeah, look. They took his number. Yeah, they took his number down. They took number down everyone has a number what? except Richard Ramirez now let's see if this is open oh my goodness yeah, it's being blocked by something wow. hello guys yeah. oh my god let's shut this door slightly This is Richard. Close the door. Oh, this Mark is Mark Cross. That's another room right there. Yo, hold up. Why is this? Why is that mesh folded? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If Someone you, tried to get in. I'm not, I can't see it on camera, but I don't think going in was. Stop. I don't think going in was the initial idea. Do you think someone's room is up there? Because that looks like. Where there's lights on across. Um, guys, we are inside Richard Ramirez's room, 1419. Joey, I don't have a light, so... Oh, sorry. 
Um, you gotta stay close. Guys, this is the bathroom. Ew. Yep. Okay, so we have to talk about what? What? <laughs> what? My friend hit the door. We have to talk about this bathroom right here because apparently he. Where's the cockroach? Here. He would come back here and wash the blood off of him from his victims. Yeah. So apparently Richard Ramirez's victims' blood, possibly in the drain. I don't like being in here. This place is tiny. So let me go in there. These rooms are tiny, guys. This is like a POV of Richard Ramirez's room. Richard Ramirez's closet. What does that say? Abe and Gina. Guys, so every floor has three showers and two restrooms. Or is it one shower and two restrooms? Oh no, there's more showers over there. And they would share the entire, so this entire floor, which maybe has like, my guessing maybe a hundred residents on the same floor, use three showers and they're all public. This one's locked. Let me show you if there's a public shower that's open. Okay, apparently showers are closed. <laughs> hey, what if I want to shower right now? Not that I would ever shower in this room, in this hotel, period. But overall, this place, you get shivers down your spine. I can't record my reactions every second, but every second I'm like, whoa, whoa. Hey, what's up guys? How awesome is this? We're at the... I'm sorry, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're at the bottom of the Cecil Hotel. There's like an actual bar. This is where Black Dahlia was last seen drinking a drink. I don't know what she was drinking, but I can definitely make up a drink if you know what I mean. Apparently now it's a coffee shop, but this place is creepy. Just give me the camera real quick. And on the other side, there's another hotel. Yeah, I think it continues because this is the only thing over there. Yeah. yeah, my wife got a ticket. It's not my car, it's my wife's car, but yep, we got a ticket. All right, fam, before I end this video, I'm gonna thank Jake Weber himself. Big shout out to Jake. Why are you thanking me, bro? You know. did all of this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, I you didn't. did all of this, Teamwork, bro. teamwork, make the dream work. Shout out to Chris Starr. Uh, what do you guys think of the place? It's pretty dandy, dude. It's pretty dandy. 